ATT Business Tax and Accounting Principles, May 2014, Question 1, adapted for the 2021 tax year. My name is Omar Aswant. Melody had been trading for many years, but seized on 31st August 2020. So cessation of trade, 31st August 2020 in the 2021 tax year. She had overlap relief brought forward of 5,000. So we'll have to look at that and think about that. Her recent trading profits losses were as follows. So we have the year to 31st December 2018, 30,000, 19, 36,000 profits. And then the eight month period. So 1st of Jan, so our previous year ended 31st December. So 1st of Jan to 31st August 2020, eight months, we have a loss of 24,000 pounds. Calculate the terminal loss arising and briefly explain how it can be relieved and that is for four marks so what you need to think about to begin with is these periods of accounts year to 31st december 18 and 19 would have been taxed on the current year basis and then we go back to actual in period of cessation so that 31st december 2018 would have fell in the 1819 tax year 30,000 would have been assessed in 1819, 36,000 in 1920. Okay, so let's make a note here. We have 2021, what is assessed? Nil, nothing to be assessed, while we have a loss. 1920, we assess the 36,000. And 1819, we assess the 30,000 pounds. Okay. Terminal loss. What is terminal loss? Terminal loss is the loss of the final 12 months of trade. Okay. So in this case, the final 12 months of trade would have been we seized on 31st August 2020. So that would be from... 1 September 2019 to 31st August 2020, right? 12 months, the final 12 months of trade, 1st September 19 to 31st August 2020. In order to calculate the terminal loss as per the question, we look at the final tax year first, 2021. Okay. And what we do is this is on the actual basis so 6th of april to 31st august cessation 2020 how many months is that april may june july august we assess five months out of our eight months and the loss was twenty four thousand, and that gives us a loss of fifteen thousand. offset the overlap relief so overlap relief usually reduces profits and in this case it can increase the loss so that's a good thing five thousand pounds and for your information it can also make a profit into a loss so that gives us twenty thousand pounds in 2021 so the terminal loss that relates to 2021 then we look at the rest of the time which would have been 2019-20 and we're looking at the final 12 months of trade so we've looked we've taken five months we need a further seven months so the further seven months would come from 1st of jan 2020 to 5th of april right and that is three months out of the eight times 24,000 which gives us a loss of 9,000 we still have seven months remaining so we've done sorry four months remaining we've taken five three we got four months remaining that comes from the year to 31st December 2019 the 36,000 so that would be 1st September to 31st December and that is 2019 that would be 4 over 12 months times 36,000 gives us 
profits of 12,000 and therefore there is no further loss. No loss here. No loss for this period. And that therefore means our total terminal loss would be the £20,000. Briefly explain how it can be relieved. It can be relieved in two ways. So how can this 20,000 be relieved? Number one, offset against trading profits of year of cessation. So year of cessation, in this case, it would be the 2021 tax year. However, this, I don't really understand this because how can you sort of have profits as well? There are some situations, but that won't be the case. And then the second situation would be offset, keyword when we're talking losses, offset against trading profits. of previous three tax years on LIFO basis. So last thing, first out, which is what we've done, we looked at the 1920, this was the last in first out tax year. And then if anything, we'd go back to 1819, etc. cetera. Now, this is more beneficial than section 64 loss relief at section 64 ITA 2007 which allows you to offset losses against the current year or previous tax year this allows you to go back previous three tax years and obviously section 83 ITA 2007 uh, ITA 2007 where you carry forward the loss would obviously not be available why cessation of trade so you'd get two and a half marks for the calculation so half overlap half And then going back to the previous tax year and no loss for this period that would give you give you two and a half marks and then you'd get half mark trading profits of the year of cessation previous three tax years on a life or basis total four marks